dealt with a struggle or a, an experience that you couldn't handle. Like college for me has been one of the struggles that has pushed me away from family. And so I want to talk about how college can be a struggle for everyone. So I'm doing 100 tips and one tip on how to start college. College struggles, time management, definitely one. Getting all your classes to fit, debt, with grades, bills, spending your, spreading your time too thin, leaving home is one of the biggest. Depression, sickness, work and health conditions, and social problems. Partying a little too hard, relationships, and choosing your major. Main, my main points, student organizations on college are very helpful. Um, anybody remember Biggie Week? How everybody hated it. Waking up at 8 in the morning to go spend time in a football field every month. Was dreading that, but how many people met someone and attached to them, had friends and made friends for your first week? I personally made two of the best friends that I have held on to this whole college experience. Um, I lean towards them very much with everything. Organization in classrooms. You feel like you have a lot of homework. But, yeah, that's true. But with homework comes responsibility and your grades become one of the most important things to you while you're here. Um, sleep schedule. How many people have stayed up till three o'clock in the morning on their papers last minute? That was me for the first week. Maybe, maybe the second too. Student organizations. Eastern provides almost 300 student organizations for all their students. So they have activities such as student recreation sports where you can go up to the gym and get study. You have the Greek frats and sororities. You have admissions like you can take part in Whitlock and be a part of Biggie Week all over again. Um, you have alumni where you have the older people come back. You have quite a lot more. Uh, religious groups, you have crew and Bible studies, which my boy decides to do their Bible studies on Monday nights at 12 o'clock. And it's not really Bible study. <laughs> Benefits of being involved. It eases the transition from high school to college. It helps you meet friends and people in the same interests or activities as you. You involve students that are more likely to graduate. Because if you aren't involved, would you really graduate? I don't know. You feel more connected with the university. It involves student reports of high level. Being involved encourages and advances your development and level of intellectually. Yeah, it depends on who you hang out with. Uh, culturally, spiritually, and socially. As a result of your involvement, you will gain knowledge and skills and experience leadership, communication, and problem solving. Organization techniques. Well, some people love day planners because you schedule your whole day out and you've got it set up easily for your day. To-do list. Anybody who set up your homework in a line and start marking out as you get through them? Um, they say to do your least favorite task first and do them based on priority. If you have a 450 word essay, you don't want to do that in five minutes. AKA, it's not going to be good. Importance of sleep schedule. There's been numerous of studies that have shown that good sleep triggers change in your brain and improved memory. Um, what Gail states that 68% of college students say that they have trouble being able to fall asleep. You know, it might be stress, it might be you just don't want to go to sleep. But what helps 
What caused sleep deprived is your on screen ability to create an effect, including tablets and phones. How many people stay up three hours just looking at Instagram after they lay down? Because <laughs> that you might be sleep deprived. But like I said, I wanted to put an importance on how being involved in sleeping and definitely setting up an organization's skills will help you be successful at Eastern. 